Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the builder design pattern. So let's get started. Now whenever you want to create the object step by step, all those complex objects you want to create step by step, at that time we are going to use the builder design pattern. Builder design pattern is a part of creational design pattern so it will be used when you want to create the complex objects. So let's understand with one of the example here. So suppose you want to create the house. So this is a simple example that we are taking. Suppose we want to create the house. Now Whenever we want to create the house, what we need to create the houses, okay? We need the walls, we need windows, we need rooms, we need kitchen, some stuffs, okay? These are standard stuff that we need in a house, okay? Now suppose I want to create a house that has a swimming pool as well. So I want to have a, another house. So you can see that I want to ha have one house which has walls, which has windows, rooms, kitchen and swimming pool as well. And suppose someone tells me that I want a house which has more properties or more features as well. So suppose I want to have the house as well, which has all the things that is walls, windows, rooms, kitchen. I don't want swimming pool, but I want two parkings, suppose, right? So you can see that these are the different features. You can see that someone is asking that I want this particular thing. I want this particular thing. So one thing we can do is, okay, we have the option, okay, to give, okay. Either what we can do is whenever we are creating the objects, right of a house so suppose if i'm creating the house object okay i have some properties so suppose let me create a class house here i have walls windows rooms kitchen these are all the properties right and what i can do is i can have the constructors here so i can have the house constructor which is taking all these properties walls windows rooms kitchen and everything okay now someone comes and tells that okay I want swing pool as well but my constructor doesn't support it right my object creation doesn't support that it should have the swing pool as well so what I can do is I can have one more constructor I can give house which is taking window walls rooms kitchen and swimming pool as well okay so now you can see that my class have the capability to add the swimming pool as well now someone comes and tell okay I want parking as well so what I will do is okay I will add one constructor that will have the walls windows rooms kitchens swimming pool as well and parking as well okay so you can see that we will end up with a lot of constructors here right to have the object creation based on the different representation of the same object okay so you can see that this representation is different of object with this representation and the same with it, this representation okay all the objects are house object only but the representation is different what are part of that particular objects are different so if you end up in this type of scenarios at that time we will use the builder design pattern now how builder design pattern will help us so builder design pattern will help us in such a way that whatever the objects or whatever the properties or features we want to add we can assign those and it will help us to create the object of it okay so if I create the house object okay this is a class house and what I will do I have all these properties okay we have walls windows rooms kitchen we have swimming pool we have parking as well okay everything we have as a different features or different properties here and what we will do is we will also provide one builder class this builder class will be the inner class of the house class itself which will help to create the object so rather than passing everything in a constructor itself what we will do is we will use the builder class to create the object okay so what we'll do we will use house builder we will create one class that is house builder okay and within this house builder what we will do is we will pass all the things suppose if i want to add walls so we will add house builder dot walls we'll have one methods to add walls and we can add walls how many walls we need suppose four walls okay we have whatever the properties we need we can add okay we can have one more method that is the windows so you can see that we have the option to add windows suppose two windows one more method we can add to add the swimming pool okay one swimming pool we have the method to add the parking as well so we'll add one parking Okay, you can see that all these different methods are that with those different methods we can assign things like what I want to have in the house. So you can see that this is just a part of the house builder and whatever the features you want to add everything you will be adding and at the end we will have one method that is a build method. And this build method what it will do is whatever the values are assigned here okay whatever the features are assigned here it will take everything and it will return the house object. 
so now we are not forcing client to add each and everything in the object creation so we are not forcing that okay if you don't want swing pool but still you have to add the swing pool though it's not visible you can say no but okay so we are not forcing that way we are giving the option to the client like whatever you want to add add those things and we will create the object for you okay we will create the product for you so we are giving control to the client itself okay so that's why you can see that the step by step creation they can do with the different representation of the same object now suppose tomorrow they will come okay they will use this house builder and they will not add anything and they will directly call the build object okay but you need some basic properties right you need some walls windows and everything to have the base house ready so for that what you have to, you can do is whenever there is a build method call you can have those validations as well like these are the basic things that you need to add while creating the object of it okay so those validations also you can add so this way you will provide the base properties like this property should be needed to create the object and you will give the option to add different properties based on their requirement itself so we are not forcing anything to the client like you have to add each and everything okay so this is the basics of the builder design pattern and where we have to use the builder design pattern now let's understand the same thing with the code so in the code we have taken the example of a burger okay where you can create a burger with the different ingredients in it right so let's understand that so let me go to the example here and you can see that i have created one burger object okay so this is the burger class and this burger class have these properties you can see that it has uh, the size of the burger eggs extra cheese mayonnaise onion lettuce etc okay so you can see that these are the properties that they can assign okay user can use to create their own burger simple thing okay now you can see that this is a constructor here okay now you can see that this constructor is taking the burger builder as the input parameter and here i have mentioned that we, this is to initialize all the fields and to do the validations so as i explained you earlier like whatever the validations we have to do like all these basic properties you need if you want to create a burger you need to have the bread itself right without the bread you cannot create the burger so all those types of validations we can add here like you need all these properties if these properties are not there you can throw the exception so this is the constructor that we have created and you can see that this constructor is private okay so user will not be able to call the constructor but the burger builder class that we are going to create that will use it and as i explained you earlier whatever the builder class would be there that builder class will be creating the inner class itself directly okay so you can see that for all this fields that we have for all that fields what we have done is we have added the values here we have added the getters all the getters method we have added here simple thing no setters okay now you can see that we have created one public static class that is the burger builder okay so this is the inner class inner static class so we can directly use this now you can see that we within this class we have added the same properties here okay you can see that these are the pro same properties that we have added in the uh, burger class itself because we will use that to set the burger properties now all these properties are there now we can see that to set all these properties we will be using one method that will return the burger builder itself okay so to set the size you can see that we created a method that is public which is returning burger builder itself and it is taking the size and we are setting the size within this class and we are returning this object itself we are returning the same object that is the burger builder similarly for setting the egg we are having the same method that is the burger builder it will return the burger builder it will set the eggs and it will return the same object for each and everything to set all those things we will have one method that will return the same object itself by setting the values okay so for eggs for extra cheese for mayonnaise for onion for lettuce etc so all the things are set now once all the things are set we will have one method that is a build method that will help to create the entire object for us okay so here you can see that we have one method that is public build method which is going to return burger okay because this you can see that this is the burger builder so we are building our burger and at the end we have build method that should return me the burger because at that's the end result i want so once we have this method created that is public burger build you can see that what is returning here it is returning new burger and the object that we are passing is this okay so the input is this object that is the burger builder now if i come here okay here what i can do is the entire burger builder is coming here right so here i can do all the validations okay all the validations are done here or not okay if all the validations are done everything is there what we need then we can assign all those values to this object 
okay and return this object simple thing okay so whenever i want a burger i will use burger dot burger builder then i will set all these properties and it will call the build method to build my object so this is the simple way you will create a builder design pattern so now if you are aware about the gangs of four design pattern book in that there is also one extra thing mentioned that is the director okay so let's understand that part as well so here you can see that in the main class if i go here okay you can see that how i will be calling this burger is so burger burger equals to new burger dot burger builder i will add mayonnaise i will add you can see that i am adding all these values here right and at last i am calling the build method here okay so this by setting all these values and by calling them build it will give me the burger here now let's understand about the director as well okay so here you can see that i have a meal object so meal object has few of the properties that is the curry bread cold drinks biryani etc and this have the getters and setters as well okay simple meal object so you can see that for this meal object okay we have all the getters and setters everything set now this meal should have also have a builder with which we can create the object but meal we can also be a veg meal as well and a non veg meal as well okay so if i go here in a meal builder you can see that this is the abstract class and this abstract class has all the different abstract methods okay so you can see that it can have add biryani add bread add cold drink add curry method okay all these methods are to add the basic things of a particular meal and it has a build method which will return the meal as well okay so all these abstract methods we have defined here now we can have the multiple classes that is the veg meal builder and a non veg meal builder that two class should implement this abstract methods so based on that they can assign the values okay so they can create the object either if we pass veg builder veg meal builder it should create the meal which is veg meal if we provide non veg meal builder it should create a non veg meal okay so if i go to the veg meal builder you can see that veg meal builder is also extending the meal builder which we have already defined here so once we extend this we have to add the implementation of all the abstract methods so here you can see that we have implementation of all the abstract methods okay but here one thing you can see that we have the object of a meal itself okay because from the veg builder we want to return the meal at the end right so that's why you can see that it's going to return the new meal okay from this constructor now all this method you can see that add biryani is adding the biryani that is veg biryani add bread is adding the naan cold drink it's adding okay curry it's adding and you can see it has a build method which will return the meal object similarly if you go to the non veg meal builder we have the same thing non veg meal builder is also extending the meal builder and it has the meal object and it is going to have all the methods similar to what we added in the veg meal but the values would be different okay so you can see that now you have two builders available that is the veg meal builder and a non veg meal builder now as i have two different types of meal created that is the veg meal and a non veg meal whenever any customer asks okay i want a veg meal so by default i should have something that goes based on the value veg and gets all the veg item only so it will create each and everything it will add each and everything in a particular object and it will return me if someone says that i want non veg meal okay it will add all the non veg items and it will create a meal and it will give me that particular thing what i'm talking about that's called a director so that director will take the input okay and based on that input it will go call a particular builder and that builder will return the particular meal similarly if i ask the director that i want the non veg meal it will go to the non veg builder it non veg builder knows that what we need to add and it will add everything and it will give me the object okay so that's the job of the director here so if i go to the meal director here you can see that meal director has the object of a meal builder so it knows that what we need to add so you can see that meal director okay there is a constructor here and this constructor is taking the meal builder object okay and within this meal builder you can see that it has all the different methods it is calling all the methods add biryani add bread curry cold drinks everything and at the end it is calling the meal builder dot build method so whenever i will call meal director here and i will pass the proper builder here suppose in the meal director if i pass veg builder it will call all the methods of a veg builder and it will create the meal which is a veg meal if i pass the non veg builder it will add a non veg items and it will give me the non veg meal okay so you can see that that's the part of the director here so whenever i want to call it if i go to the main you can see that how i'm calling i want a meal okay and i'm calling the meal director so in the meal director i'm passing that i want a new veg 
meal builder so i'm passing the new wedge meal builder so this is something that it will return the wedge meal and that's why and we are calling the method after that that is the prepare meal prepare meal is thought, is what something where we have defined here right and this prepare meal is calling all the methods of a builder and returning the build method so you can see that that's the part of the director but don't worry most of the times you will be directly creating those builder classes you will be creating a nested class and that nested class will be having all the properties and methods to assign each and every value and a build method to return a main object itself okay so that's how you will be defining a builder pattern and that's how you should answer in your interview questions as well now if you're working with java and if you know about the lumbok so lumbok has the annotation that is the added builder so with that annotation whatever the class that you have defined that will be entirely converted into the builder reason pattern and you can use these different methods to create the objects so that's a very easy part when you're working with java you can directly use that annotation from the Lombok to create the builder design patterns. So this is one of the easiest design pattern to create the different objects. So we covered everything about the builder design pattern. It's very easy. If you have any doubt, then do let me know in the comment section below. I will try to solve it as soon as possible. If you like this video, then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. You can also click on the join button to join my channel and support me. So that's been it. I will see you in the next video. Till then, happy coding. Bye-bye.